<sighs> Welcome all, and thank you for watching another Technology Made Basic video. Uh, today we will be discussing how to create a shortcut for some of your favorite websites onto your desktop. And we're going to use some of the uh, the three one of the three most uh, popular browsers: uh, Microsoft Edge, Google Chrome, and Mozilla Firefox. But I'm also going to go over on how to enable Internet Explorer within Internet Explorer 11 within uh, Windows 10. And I'll show you how to do that. First, we'll start with Edge. Uh, let's just go ahead and open that up. Again, uh, Microsoft Edge is the default web browser that comes with uh, Windows 10. What it what it is is basically just a lighter and faster version of Internet Explorer 11. Uh, it's got new code. I believe the code that they use to uh, build this is Edge HTML, which, if I'm not mistaken, is a variation of HTML5. Um, and what they did, they stripped out all the old, uh, antiquated, all the old uh, legacy code out of uh, that Internet Explorer, all the previous versions of uh, Internet Explorer had, and basically built a new browser from the ground up. So that's what Microsoft Edge is. Uh, so once we have it open, if it's not really that simple, as simple as it was with other previous versions of Internet, uh, or with other previous versions of Microsoft's browser, uh, to make a shortcut on your desktop. So I'm going to show you a way of how to do it. So let's just say I wanted to create a shortcut for my home page. What you can do is just do a left click in the uh, address bar. It's going to highlight the URL. Go ahead and do a right click over the highlighted portion. Say copy. Let's go ahead and minimize this. And I'm going to do a right click just anywhere on my desktop that there's no shortcut or no content. And uh, once this drop down menu comes up, I want to uh, go down to new and click on shortcut. I'm going to go ahead and paste the content I just copied. And once I have it pasted in there, click next. And then just type in uh, Microsoft, it was a Microsoft uh, website. You can just name it whatever you want. Click finish. And it's going to create a shortcut for you here on your desktop. So you can do that for any of your uh, favorite websites. Go ahead and try that with Google Chrome and with Firefox. With Google Chrome and Firefox, it's a little simpler. And I would recommend to have more than one browser on your computer just in case one of the browsers that you have gets corrupted. Uh, more than likely, it's not going to affect the other browser it could, but uh, at least you'll have like kind of like a backup. Uh, even if you even if your favorite is Chrome or, or uh, Firefox, I just make sure I would recommend to have more than one, two or three or even four would be uh, ideal, I think. So anyways, once you have Chrome open, let's go ahead and do a left click again on the address bar, highlight the uh, URL. This time, I'm going to do a left click over the highlighted content, uh, keep it pressed down, and just drag it to my desktop. And that's it. So basically, just highlight whatever website you're on. Again, highlight the whole thing. Just do a left click, grab it, and just drop it over. And it's the same one, so just do a copy and replace. And with uh, Mozilla Firefox, it's pretty much the same thing. Just open it up. Let's go to a different website this time. Just go to Bing.com. Highlight the content. Do a left click, drag it over, drop it onto the desktop, and let's close it. Now keep in mind, when you open up these shortcuts, it's going to open up with whatever default web browser you have. So if your default is Edge, it's going to open up every shortcut you have with Edge, even if you made it with Google Chrome or with Internet Explorer, or I mean uh, with Mozilla Firefox. Uh, so just keep that in mind. Now let's just open up Bing just to show you. As you can see, it's opening up with uh, with Edge. Let's just try one more shortcut with Edge. Let's go to um, let's go to Bing. Again, just do a uh, right click once you have it highlighted. Copy. One more time. Right click on the desktop. Go to New, Shortcut. I'm just going to do a Control V on my keyboard if you have your PC, so you can just paste it. Next, just name it Bing, Finish. And it's going to give me an error because I already have a shortcut with that same name. Do I want to replace it? I'm just going to say yes. And that's it. It's just going to give you the Bing icon because it's uh, with Microsoft Edge. So that's the. It's really quite simple. That's just how you create a shortcut. There's other different ways you can do it, but that's probably going to be some of the like simplest ways to create a shortcut with some of the uh, different browsers. Uh, now, let's go ahead and uh, open up Internet Explorer 11 and show you how to do it with uh, Internet Explorer 11. Again, um, you may want to use Internet Explorer 11 if, uh, if you're having a compatibility issue, uh, if you're like in a business environment and you haven't fully tested Edge yet, uh, diff for different reasons. So 
or you just may like Internet Explorer 11 and that's what you're used to and that's what you want to use, that's fine. For whatever reason, I'll show you how to enable it and how to use it. So I have, um, basically what we do is navigate to, uh, open up File Explorer and navigate to this PC, go under your local C drive, just open that up, navigate to the program files, uh, and it says in parentheses x86, 32-bit, navigate to the Internet Explorer folder, and what we want to do is create a shortcut on our desktop for this guy right here, iExplorer. So once you have it highlighted, just do a uh, right click over it and navigate on the drop down menu down to send to and say desktop. And it's going to create a shortcut for Internet Explorer 11. And as you can see, the icons for Edge and uh, Internet Explorer are slightly different. So you, that's how you can tell they're different. One's a darker blue, one's a lighter blue. Plus, uh, Internet Explorer has this uh, like yellow, oranges, light orange, uh, like halo over it. Uh, I'm just going to rename it to Internet Explorer. Okay, so once I have it, as you can see, if you uh, open it up, it's going to be Internet Explorer 11. So this one looks slightly different than Microsoft Edge. It's got you know different uh, features that you may be used to with some of the uh, previous uh, Microsoft browsers. And you can also take this and pin it to your taskbar. You can just simply just do a left click, hold it, drag it to the taskbar. And I like to keep all the browsers uh, together, so I'm just going to put it over here by Internet Explorer. Again, just left click and just drag it over to wherever you want. As you can see, the icons are slightly different. So, and if we want to create a shortcut in Internet Explorer, go ahead and open this up. And uh, let's go ahead and make a Google show shortcut. With uh, Internet Explorer, it's really simple. Uh, what you can do is just do a right click it over any of the white space. And when I say white space, I mean any of the space on the browser window that you have open that's not part of the website or that the website doesn't expand to because websites are, are basically a specific width. Um, so once you do, say, over here to the far uh, left or to the far right, just do a, a right click. You're going to get the drop down menu. Navigate down to where it says create shortcut. And it says, do you want to put a shortcut to the website, to this website on your desktop? Just say yes. Let's close it. As you can see, we have a Google um, shortcut. But if we open it up, again, because uh, Edge is my default browser, it's going to automatically open it with Microsoft Edge. So again, just keep that in mind. And you can make Internet Explorer your default browser, and then that way it opens up all the shortcuts with Internet Explorer. So that's that's it. Um, that's It's really simple to uh, do shortcuts in Windows 10 with uh, you know various different browsers. So in this video, we showed you how to do that and also how to enable Internet Explorer 11 in case you want to use that browser. So again, thank you for uh, watching another Technology Made Basic video. And if you found this helpful, please remember to subscribe to our channel and also help us out by liking the video.